popsicle sticks. What are you not able to make with popsicle sticks? If you have ever been on YouTube before, you've probably seen some pretty wild stuff made with popsicle sticks. I've had the thought to make a fingerboard out of popsicle sticks for a very long time, and today it's gonna happen. If you've ever looked at a fingerboard, you probably know it's made out of wood. Unless you have a tech deck and this is just plastic, but we don't really talk about that. So in theory, this shouldn't be too difficult to do because popsicle sticks are made out of wood and a fingerboard is made out of wood. Now generally wood should be wood, but this is veneer. It is also made out of wood, except for a popsicle stick is a little bit different than veneer. And also, veneer is very flexible to make a fingerboard, and a popsicle stick is not very flexible at all. Now, technically, we could just put a bunch of popsicle sticks together and call it a fingerboard, but I kind of think that's cheating. So instead of making whatever this is, we are gonna make a proper popsicle stick fingerboard. So I wanna try and put popsicle sticks in my fingerboard mold, but like I said earlier, they don't really like the flex. <laughs> We need to figure out a way to bend the popsicle sticks and I have an idea. You might have heard of steam bending before. You basically take wood and put it in hot water and it goes flexible. Well, let's give it a try. This has been in the water for a little over a minute and it's already getting more flexible so I think if we wait about five minutes that should be good. The popsicle sticks have been in the water for almost five minutes so let's take them out and see what we have. I think if we just place these in the mold like this, they're gonna kind of separate and they won't be nice and tight together. On the top of the popsicle sticks, I'm gonna put a little bit of tape just to kind of hold them together. The popsicle sticks are successfully in the mold. You might be surprised, but I've actually never done this before, so I have no idea how long I need to wait now. I'm probably gonna give the popsicle sticks a couple of few hours to kind of like harden, I guess, and then we'll take it out of the mold and see what we have. It is now a new day, and we can finally take this out of the mold. I've kind of been busy the past couple days, so this has actually been sitting in here for like over two days now, so it's pretty safe to say the wood is now dry. I'm not gonna lie, this actually looks like it works so much better than I was expecting. It looks like the popsicle sticks held their shape perfectly and also they're super tight together. Because the popsicle sticks are lined up so well, I think I'm just gonna drill the holes now. This is what we have. Because we took the tape off of the popsicle sticks, these are now separated. I knew this was gonna happen, so I have a plan. I'm gonna press another set of popsicle sticks and we're gonna place a piece of veneer in between both stacks. popsicle sticks are in the mold again, so now we're gonna wait about a day and then we'll take them out. One more day has now passed, so we can take this out of the mold. now is to take a piece of veneer and place both halves kind of like that and that is about the only plan that I have so let's see if it works. I put super glue on the popsicle sticks and then placed the veneer on top, so let's hope that works. I've given the super glue about 10 minutes to cure, so hopefully that's enough.
put some tape on these pieces just to hold everything in place and I think I'm just gonna place this on here with some super glue and then put it in the mold. I'm gonna give this about 10 minutes in the mold and then we can take it out. Time to take the board out of the mold and see what we got. The popsicle stick board is getting pretty close to being finished. We just need to put this on the belt sander and it'll pretty much be finished. The board is sanded and I also put some varnish on it and this looks so good. Not gonna lie, this board actually turned out so much better than I was expecting. It doesn't matter though if I don't land the first kickflip. All right. I don't know what's up with this board, but it's actually kind of sick. You might notice this board is kind of wide, but I actually don't even notice it. I don't know why, but I thought this would feel like really heavy, but it kind of feels normal. I also love the spaces in between the popsicle sticks because you can tell that these are actually popsicle sticks. You guys drop a comment for what else I should turn into a fingerboard. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I really appreciate all the support on these videos and I will see you guys next time.